Gregor Gillespie versus Yancy Medeiros. Oh my god. Oh my god, Yancy, you fucking disgrace. I thought Yancy was going to win. He's a big guy coming down in weight from welterweight. He's a big, lanky striker. He's going to catch Gregor Gillespie coming in. Gregor Gillespie is a monster. And I'm foolish for not seeing it beforehand. Gregor Gillespie, I'm sorry. All I saw of you was that you were a fisherman and you beat a mediocre guy previously. But you have just beaten Yancy Medeiros. And now it's time... Gregor Gillespie, for you to get your shot at a ranked opponent, okay? No more bums. Let's get you a ranked fight. And I know a ranked fight that would be great for you. Off the top of my head. I can't think of anyone right now, but there's a there's probably going to be a good... Alexander Hernandez. There you go, baby. Him versus Hernandez. Let's make that happen next. Both young guys, both up and coming. Hernandez coming off a loss. Let's chuck him straight back in the fucking fire and give him Gregor Gillespie and see what fucking happens. Obviously, Hernandez needs to take some time. So does Gregor Gillespie. But he handled Yancy Medeiros, okay? I don't care what anyone says. Yancy Medeiros got fucking chucked about like a fucking gay man in prison, okay? Chucked about like he was a worthless piece of shit, okay? And used by Gregor Gillespie. Yancy Medeiros, he'd get taken down. He actually showed great takedown defense in the first round. But then it's just every time he got back up, oh, we're back down again. And then he would get back up and actually do some good defensive stuff to get back up. Good scrambles, good rolls out of takedowns. And then oh, he'd just get taken down again. And then just as you thought, you're going to get a bit of space from Gregor Gillespie. And he's going to let you go. Nope. His hands are fucking stuck to you like they're super glued. Someone needs to look into his corner work because for sure, Gregor Gillespie's hands were glued onto Yancy Medeiros. He didn't le let him go for a second, okay? And I think he realized when he went in there, I could brawl with this guy, yes. He could win if I brawl with him. He can't win if I do this. So he Ben Askrin's the fuck out of Yancy Medeiros, took him for a ride, Fucking flipped him all over the octagon. There wasn't a centimeter of the octagon that Yancy Medeiros wasn't taken down in. Yancy Medeiros continuously, you got to give it to him, kept getting back up, kept getting back up, but you just can't escape the pressure that Gregor Gillespie brings. Okay? I, try, I, was, I was thinking of a fisherman pun, but I can't think of one right now because my mind is clouded by the devil's lettuce. Um, but yeah. Gregor Gillespie looks phenomenal. Let's give him Hernandez. Let's give him someone else in the top 15. Who can you guys think of that you'd want to see Gregor Gillespie fight next? Let me know. And also, what happens to Yancy Medeiros? Because, you know, he ain't getting any younger. And that's two losses in a row now. You know? He has these ups and downs in his career. Maybe he's about to go on another huge run. We shall see. We shall see indeed. It's a good time to be a UFC fan, man. These guys are coming up everywhere. Gregor Gillespie, after watching what he did to Yancey, I mean, uh, you see similarities between him and Khabib. Obviously, I'm not saying he's quite as good as Khabib yet. But give it time. He beats a few more guys. We could be a t we could be looking at a title contender, you know. Gregor Gillespie, man. Keep your fucking eye on him. He finished Yancey Medeiros in the second round, TKO, I believe. It was the second or the third round. He finished him by TKO. Yancey was still in it. He was still wary. But he just wasn't... It's not like the TJ Dillashaw stoppage, which I'm going to bring up again. That was bullshit. Uh, it's not like Yancey was looking for an escape from the situation while he was taking punches, like TJ Dillashaw was when he was searching for the single leg uh, to get back up and back into the fight. Uh, I'm still angry about that. Uh, but yeah, Yancey Medeiros constantly looking for a way out, but at some point he just realised, I can't get the fuck up. Gregor Gillespie took top mount, fucking squeezed his feet together behind Jans. Jans, you couldn't get up. He was trying to hip escape over and over again. He's taken unanswered punches, unanswered punches, unanswered punches. What else can you do? He wasn't knocked out, but he was just going to keep getting fucking his face mashed into the canvas unless the ref stepped in. So, uh, yeah. I actually wasn't too angry at the stoppage in the Jans Medeiros fight. Great stoppage. Um... And great fight by Gregor Gillespie. I look forward to seeing what havoc this crazy fisherman can cause in the lightweight division. It's not really like a fighter's persona, you know. It's not really something the UFC can get behind in promotion. 
by night he fucking fishes bass. You know, what I mean? like he, you can't really promote the fisherman side of him and make it sound cool. You know, he caught free carp last week and now he's out for revenge. You know, there's no, there's no making that sound cool. But I guess he could be like a Stipe Miocic character, where basically you just show him for the blue collar guy he is, the worker, him out on the lake, humble guy. We'll see what happens to Gregor Gillespie. Yancy Medeiros, take some time off. Train with Holloway. Get yourself better, mate. We'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Great fights. I think I've covered everything. I could cover the Glover Teixeira versus Carl Roberson one. I'll do it quickly now. Fuck it, why not? Um, Glover Teixeira looked good. Carl Roberson came in looking strong. Got overexcited with the finish. Came in, didn't take much damage. Lost by submission. Silver line. He gets paid. It wasn't even in the division that he competes in. It was a light heavyweight when Carl Roberson's actually a middleweight. So he didn't lose any ranking credit. So he just showed up, got a free show money. Lost. Fair enough, it's a bad thing. He didn't take any damage. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Two in one. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Like and subscribe as well, because... Oh, every time I see it, it, it just sends fucking jolts into my fucking testicles. See you later, guys.